What's going on, Dylan? Welcome back to another episode of Robin Rap Outdoors. What are we doing today? Um, we're currently king fishing in Port Washington. King salmon fishing. King salmon fishing. So, um, Taylor wants me to show you how to tie up a rig since we're tying one up here. We're just getting started. Um, so, first of all, choose any kind of rod reel combo that you want. I just got a cheap ugly stick. If it breaks, it breaks. It's cheap. Just threw one of my old reels on there and I think I got 15 or 20 pound braid on here. It really doesn't matter. You just, any braid you got, and you tie a leader. So right here, we got a 16 pound Stren mono, monofilament leader. Hey, it's been working so far, so we're gonna tie some up. And uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the rig here. So we're gonna tie, I tie a little, um, I just tie a line to line knot, kind of. It's just two fishermen's knots. It's always worked for me. All right, so now that we have our line to line knot tied, cinch everything up real nice. Make sure you pull the tag ends. Oh, oops. Pull the tag ends so they're tight. I don't know if you can get a zoom in right there. And that's how I tie my line to line knots. Not the most perfect thing in the world, but it holds. Gets the job done, that's all that matters. Let me take these cheap scissors I got out of some uh, <laughs> you got it out of a first grader's uh, desk. Yeah, that's here. Thing cuts like a charm though, and then we just we just clip off the tag ends, and you know it's not gonna go through the guys, so there's a little bit left, but that's all right in case it slips. You don't want it to come off. So now we're gonna take about oh, let's see here, that much, mm -hmm. probably two and a half, three feet, because you know you're gonna use some time you're hooking on, so. Two and a half, three feet. Snip that. Then we're gonna come over here. And I had a hook here. Hook's right here. What kind of hook is that? It is a Gamma got two octopus. Two ot. Right there. It's been working so far. Razor sharp, strong hooks. That's what you need for these. You really don't want them to bend out. So, um, uh, alternatively, you can use a treble hook, a smaller, treble. smaller treble hook, like small walleye treble hook, uh, more contacts to get a good hook up. So, the more you know. All right, we got our hook tied on here. Now we gotta find our sinkers. So, I don't even know what size they are. Just grab one of the one of the biggest ones you got. Like, just like that. I don't know if it really says the size on here. If it sinks, it'll work. So, we go about, uh, let's say, a foot, foot, a uh, foot and a half up on the line. You no, know, you just put the sinker up there. You make, you want to make sure it's tightened down. A lot of people bite it. Screw that. It's good for your teeth. Yeah, I just take the pliers and I can way faster. Probably a lot better than biting it. So, all right, so about a foot, you know, per se. So now we got this rig tied up, super simple. Now we, before we recorded this and came down here, we tied up some spawn sacks. Mm -hmm. So what we got here is real trout eggs mixed with a protein egg and some uh, some styrofoam balls so that it helps float. So then when this rig's sitting on the bottom, the sink keeps it on the bottom and it floats up and it's sitting in the water column. All right, so we take this, I've seen it on YouTube a bunch, this tag end here, you wanna keep to the back side of the hook. And all you do is you just wanna get a little bit like that. That's all you need. It's dark out, they're not gonna see it anyways. All right, so now we're gonna go back by our bottle over here. That's the rig, that's all set up. That's all you need, super simple. So now, so just give her, make sure there's no tangle on your tip. Like that, okay? And you just, you just give her a little, you know, it's only 30 yards to the other side, to the other pier, so you don't have to give it a very big cast. Let it sink a little bit. Let it sink. It's about 15 feet in here, so it's gonna take a minute to sink. 10. And then 10 feet. 
We're not sponsored by this, so we're gonna keep it like this. We're gonna keep the bottle like that. It is not a Bud Light bottle. Uh, take the line and you have it like that, right? So then, when you do this, you leave the bale open, very key, because otherwise the fish is gonna pull it in. So what I like to do is I like to aim the bottle along with the guide. So since the bale is open, it's kind of like a tip up. So when the line takes, right, you're gonna go like that. And the bottle's gonna tip over, you're gonna hear it down, you and your buddies come running over, and hopefully catch a fish. So, it's important because if you have it like here, the line's just gonna go around it and you're not gonna know until it takes the knot. Right, Taylor? Yep. So, Found that out the other night. So you come like this, and it's gotta make two 90s like that. Making a choke point on the bottle, make it easier to tip over. And it's gonna tip the bottle over before it takes your rod in. So we got two rods a piece. Three I got three. Piece. So we're gonna see how this night turns out. Catch you in a little bit. Yes, sir. Dylan, what's going on? We're hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. So we just got set up. Dylan's hooked up for the first time of the night. About 10 minutes in. We were just watching the Badger game. Peace and Michigan. Love to see it. Now we're going to be uh, waiting for a while. I think I just saw Dylan. <laughs> Dude, he's gotta be like right here. Like we're, we gotta be within like 10 feet of him. Cause he's just cruising back and forth on the wall. He did not like that at all. No, he was not a fan. Oh, he was really not a fan. Let's just get a... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. Now he's real pissed. Oh, oh. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> You're getting a little low. <laughs> as long as we can stay. Well. I really wish that bull wasn't there. Good. Good stuff. That one. Yeah, that's a big one. Dude, he's like, he's gonna be on that. Dude, he's gonna. Oh, shit. Dude. I can't, like, I have to put the brakes down. Yeah, you're almost out. Now you're almost out of line. Like, I don't have a choice but to, like. Kick its ass now? First bite of the night, broke off, rip. Mr. Roberts, what's going on? Give us the rundown. So we heard a bottle drop, came running over. Sure enough, Mr. Salmon is on. When that jumped, that did not look small. He porpoised. It done porpoised. Hey, come up here. Oh, hello. What do we think about that? Don't don't hate the game. Hate the fish. <laughs> hate the fish. Yeah, screw the fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Roberts, walk us through what's going on. This is not gonna work. This is a loss of clip. <laughs> oh, 
line will bust any second. Oh, that's not good at all. There ain't too much line left on that spool. Rip. All right, boys. Uh, so we went home. Yeah, that fishing was absolutely dog water. I think we got like five bites maybe. No fish landed. Anything that we hooked up into either broke off or popped off. So that's always fun. But yeah, the strat works. We just couldn't capitalize on it. But that also can go or could be determined by, by the weather today. It was horrible it was literally like high 80s the entire day and that's not good for spawning salmon they like that cold weather but yeah other than that that's about all i got for you guys today so stay tuned more salmon videos coming out soon and we will see you guys on the next episode